take a deep breath in. As you breathe in, breathe in a resourceful feeling of relaxation. And as you exhale, that's it, relax those eyelids. With your eyes closed, allow any feelings of tension to slowly leave your body in that outward breath. Breathing in a resourceful feeling of relaxation, exhaling tension, allowing yourself to become more comfortable, more relaxed, slowing your breathing down and giving yourself permission to just relax. As you breathe in, I want you to scan your body for any clues or echoes of tension. And now is the time to start releasing that tension. To let go. And as you let go, just imagine that tension melting away. And as it melts away, feel that in the next outward breath, that tension is leaving your body. Perhaps you can notice your jaw becoming more relaxed, the muscles around your eyelids or eyes becoming more relaxed, the neck or your shoulders just releasing that tension, arms and legs feeling limp, loose, heavy. And as your body relaxes, I want you to activate and awaken your imagination. So much so that you could imagine walking in a beautiful valley. Just imagine what it would be to walk on that valley the weather just right, maybe blue skies, sun on your skin, perhaps you can imagine the views over the fields, the wonderful picture of wildflowers, perhaps you can even imagine picking one of those wildflowers, just seeing the colour Maybe it has a smell. And I want you to get this growing sense of connection. You just feel more connected to yourself. And I want you to imagine, for some reason, there is a luxurious four-poster bed there in the field, surrounded by wildflowers, the comfortable mattress, Egyptian cotton sheets, very soft pillows, and I want you to imagine climbing onto that bed, surrounded by nature, the smell of those wildflowers. Feeling how relaxed you would feel just by putting your head on the pillows and feeling your body sink into that comfortable mattress. And as I count down from five to one, I want you to imagine feeling so relaxed that you're sinking into the mattress and your head sinking into that pillow. Five, just feeling an overwhelming feeling of relaxation flow through your body. Four, as you breathe in, you can just release any tension. Almost like what happens when you yawn, you're just releasing that tension. It's just, ah, just leaving your body. Three, just arms and legs, just feeling like gravity has increased by two. Arms and legs sinking there into the bed. But breathing is getting easier. Reversing gravity there in your breathing so you can breathe 
more free and more relaxed than ever before. Feeling a desire to drift off into a deep, deep sleep just within your imagination. Two and then one and... That's it. Drift off into your imagination. Imagine falling asleep there on that bed in the valley, in the field, surrounded by these flowers. And I want you to imagine you're dreaming. And you're dreaming that you, as your current age, are going all the way back in time. I want you to imagine going all the way back in time to a hospital ward many, many years ago. And I want you to imagine seeing a 20-month-year-old baby, a vulnerable baby, perhaps able to talk, but I want you to see this baby in a cot, in a ward, perhaps surrounded by other distressed babies, old enough to make evaluations, but not old enough to leave this environment. But I want you to imagine you are there five minutes after this baby was put in a cot. You are invisible to anyone else in the room. No doctors or nurses can see you. No other babies can see you. But the baby you care about, that you're focused on, they can see you and you can see them. And I want you to imagine seeing perhaps a confused or distressed baby. And just reassuring them. A calm, reassuring voice. Playing with them. Telling them they are cute and lovable. Maybe they used to play little games. Imagine playing those games with them. Imagine that you have the ability to instantly and magically manifest any toy, any game, anything to play. And I want you to imagine there you are for an entire week. Conversation after conversation. And I want you to imagine that this vulnerable baby has a whole week of taking your life's wisdom and just in conversation after conversation giving them all of the reassurance encouragement love belief for an entire week Whenever they're not sleeping, they're just hearing positive, encouraging, wonderful things. And you could imagine that a baby like that, hearing all these wonderful things and playing fun games for an entire week, would leave that hospital feeling loved, feeling worthy, feeling safe, feeling protected that baby might have a different way of looking at the world. I want you to imagine that we can't change the past, but we can change how we think about the past. Part of you knows that that didn't happen for you, and therefore Feelings of being insecure or alone would be a rational response to an experience like that. But I want you to give this baby 
the very opposite experience. And allow that feeling to imagine that it's rippling throughout time from that moment all the way up to your present. That you can keep the resourcefulness, the resilience, the independence, the focused work ethic. But add to that the confidence, the reassurance, the worthiness, the self-acceptance that would have come from a whole week of nurturing. That's what you didn't have at that time. You weren't nurtured. And imagine giving yourself the nurturing that you really needed. And in doing so, accept the idea that it is healing a hole, a void that was created all the way back then. You are filling that void with acceptance, worthiness, love. Just imagine following that baby's life throughout their entire life and thinking about how they would have dealt with different situations differently. From that foundation of worthiness and self-love and self-acceptance. That they wanted to be with other people, but they didn't need to be with other people because they felt so secure in who they were. And as you imagine following this life, perhaps you can imagine some of the other ways of thinking that might be helpful to enable you to make updates in terms of how you think now that would be useful. So as you breathe in and breathe out, embrace the warmth of self-acceptance, letting it wash over you like a gentle embrace, reminding you that you are worthy just as you are. I want you to scan your body and really feel a deep sense of self-love radiating from within. A powerful force that illuminates your true worth, regardless of external validation. And what if right now was exactly the right time to release the need to constantly provide something useful to others? Instead, understanding that your inherent value exists independently of your actions or contributions. You are worthy of unconditional love, not just when there's strings attached. Recognize the richness of your worthiness, like a priceless gem shining brightly in the core of your being, unaffected by doubts or insecurities. Allow feelings of comfort, acceptance, and self-love to fill what was that void within you like a soothing balm that nurtures your soul and brings inner peace. You are deserving of kindness, compassion and love just as much as anyone else. And you have the right to treat yourself with the same care and consideration. For a while you've been reluctant, but what if right now was the time to embrace the truth? That your worth is not contingent upon what you do for others, but rather is a fundamental aspect of your existence. 
it's time to let go of any lingering doubts about your value. Replacing them with a deep sense of self-assurance that radiates from your core. Take the time right now to visualize yourself engaging in activities that bring you joy and fulfillment. Throw away the word self-indulgent and instead acknowledge that you are worthy of doing things solely for your own happiness. Give yourself permission to feel a sense of contentment and joy as you bask in your own company. Recognizing that you are a fascinating and lovable individual. Wine was never self-sabotage. It was an attempt to soothe, to anesthetize feelings of pain or the void of the past. But as that void has been filled with compassion, self-love, self-acceptance, you can release the need to use wine as a means to escape feelings of loneliness, knowing that you possess the inner strength to face your emotions head on. I want you to experience the gentle embrace of self-compassion. Allowing it to envelop you in a cocoon of understanding and acceptance. Imagine yourself nourishing your soul with self-love. Just like a refreshing drink that quenches your thirst for acceptance and validation. Because when it comes from you to you, you don't need it from anyone else. Imagine a radiant light within you, growing brighter each time you acknowledge your self-worth, filling you with a profound sense of self-acceptance. It's finally time to let go of any beliefs that diminish your self-worth. Replacing them with the deep knowing that you are deserving of love, care and kindness. Feel the warmth of self-love expanding within you. Like a soft blanket or a comfy duvet wrapping around your heart comforting you in moments of doubt. Fully embrace the truth that you are complete and whole, a unique individual with a reservoir of love and worthiness that can never be depleted. Feel how good it would feel to allow those feelings of self-love to flow through you. Nourishing your soul and providing the strength to navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience. Your future is a future where you keep the capabilities and the resilience. But you give permission to yourself To give yourself the love, the help, the understanding that you've been happy to give to others. You can't pour from an empty cup. So imagine the void that has been that empty cup is now overflowing with self-love, self-acceptance and worthiness. Meaning you don't need your void or cup to be filled by anyone or anything else. As you integrate these suggestions, feel a profound shift within you. A transformation that allows you to embrace your true worth. 
showering yourself with self-love, compassion and acceptance and experiencing a deep sense of fulfillment and joy in your own company. See yourself back in that hospital ward, the very end of that time when the child is now time to leave. But I want you to see a happy, content, worthy, reassured, confident child returning to their family. Feeling like you've done your bit to change things the way they should have been done. And then find yourself back there on a bed, surrounded by wildflowers. As you leave the bed, you feel lighter. And a void that was there in the past now seems to be filled and overflowing with something wonderful. And as you walk through those wild wildflowers, you just feel so connected with yourself and a future a future where your core needs are met by you and therefore you don't need to find things from others. As you walk through the valley, it dawns on you that this is just a thought within a thought, an idea within an idea, a dream within a dream. And find yourself drifting back to the present listening to my voice right here in this moment as you take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Just wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, get a sense that here you are fully in the present in this moment as very soon I count from one to ten to fully awaken you. I'm starting to count. One, two, three, waking up. Four, five, six, more alert. Seven, eight, open your eyes, open your eyes. Nine, ten, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake. 